Hello, my name is Roman Pilashek. I would like to show you Nanopoda XRD processor demo, which is a web tool used for obtaining grain size distribution from X ray diffraction data of nanomaterials. The web is available at address science24.com slash XRD. You can go to this address and you will see a panel like this. The yellow big area is a drop zone, the place when you can drop your X-ray diffraction files. On the right-hand side, you have protocol panel. This is the theory used for the processing of the data. I won't see, say much about theory now. Experimental panel is a wavelength set in this demo for copper wavelength and the instrumental broadening, which is now disabled. And the also assumption, uh, which is single phase. We assume that single phase powders will be analyzed here. At the moment, you can't. Um, check multi-phase systems and in example in examples panel you have a couple of sample data of nano zinc oxide nano yak nano zirconia and uh, collection of nano zirconia files as well as ability to download x-ray diffraction data for a couple of sample to test our Tool. I would like to show you how this works. It is uh, if you click on the title, the tool will be reset. So how to use it? Uh, simply take your data. We assume your data is a text file, uh, which is composed of two columns. First column is a two theta angle. Uh, it has to be constant step to theta uh, service. And the second column is intensity. So your data, your input data should be in this format. If you have this data, you simply may drag and drop the data to the drop zone. And what you will see, this is the first zoom of your of your X-ray diffraction data. Here is an interference function, which is probably not of interest of many people, but the most important part is the grain size distribution curve, which was calculated from the X-ray diffraction, X -ray diffraction data. Below you have a table with a numerical data. You can see what is uh, size, every size of, these, of your crystals, which is about 20 nanometers now and the spatial of the sizes. If you would like to process more data, for instance for comparison, you may simply drag more files into the X-ray diffraction pattern area and this, the, the, the files will be, will be seen here. Uh, if you like to drag more files, you can just drag many of them at once. However, you should wait a little bit for the sending of the data for our, to our server, then allow a little bit of time to process the data and the results will be sent back to your browser as quickly as possible. However, this may take a couple of seconds. It's quite a complicated task. Okay, I think that we have the data already. No, we have only six curves here, so we wait for seventh. Seventh curve. Okay, seventh curve just arrived from server, uh, and we can look at the data. The average size varies here from five to twenty nanometers, which is correlated with, in this case, with uh, dopant uh, concentration. The dopant is presidium, and concentration varies from zero to eighteen percent. Uh, you can uh, zoom your files if you wish. You can you can see uh, details. You can also uh, turn off files if if you wish. Uh, so I think it is uh, it is quite simple. If you would like to check our examples, please go to examples section, and you can either click on the uh, some files, so data will be immediately displayed, or you can download your data. If you click on uh, this link here, data will be downloaded to your disk. And then you can drag this textual file and the, the system should behave as usual. Uh, this is it.
this is quite simple uh, how to use the, 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 this tool. I hope you can uh, tell us your feeling and uh, send maybe some comments or uh, requests. Please, in e either case, go to our website and and uh, contact us under this email or this telephone numbers. Thank you very much.